up guys? It's Wiggle with Wiggles Outdoors and today we're enjoying a little trek through the woods all bundled up in my alpaca gloves and beanie and just uh, absolutely comfortable out here. By the way, these beanies and stuff are absolutely fantastic and if you want an alpaca beanie, socks, gloves, anything like that, uh, I'll leave some links in the description below and I'll even do some reviews on this stuff later. It's warmer than wool is. But to the point today. Let's make some pine tea and enjoy some nature. The pine tree is a conifer tree, meaning that it doesn't lose its needles during the winter time. As you can tell, it's definitely winter time here. I'm all bundled up yet again. So I have a hemlock tree right here. Uh, the pine tree is a family or species of trees that are over a hundred different types. Uh, most of them are very edible and extremely high in a vitamin C value. Actually, a pine tree, or a white pine at least, has more vitamin C per ounce than a freshly squeezed orange does. Uh, so they're loaded in calories, loaded in nutrients, and stuff that you just need when you're out here. It's also a decongestant and uh, lots of other things. It's, it's also good for antibacterials, so if you have a cut, you can take some pine sap, put on it. It's a very resinous tree. Uh, so again, I've got some hemlock here. Hemlock is an excellent tree uh, of the pine family. It is edible, unlike the hemlock flower or the water hemlock, uh, which is not edible. This is very edible and uh, pretty delicious, but not as delicious as the white pine. So I'm going to go make some white pine tea. And since white pine's in such abundance, I'm actually going to go search for it today instead of the hemlock here. But this would do in a pinch. It should be acknowledged that the hemlock family of pine can be mistaken for the yew tree, uh, mainly because when the yew is small and young, instead of growing in the fibrous square shapes that they do, uh, they will grow in the size of this. So if you're going for hemlock, uh, be careful about going for the smaller ones or just look in the area around you. If you can see some uh, regular hemlock in the area around you that are adults, you can tell that these Being are Being said, good. you should always act on any edible or any plant that you find within the woods. Uh, for the simple fact that if you find a tree that normally doesn't grow on a mountainous slope like this and it only grows in swamp areas, you should really question if that's really that tree or if it's a mock-off poisonous tree. There's a lot of those out here, so be careful. Let's go find some white pine. So I found some white pine. These are white pine needles right here. Excellent, excellent sources of uh, vitamin C, as I said before. So let's go ahead and get the tea made for them. Now, typically speaking, I used to hate pine tea. It used to taste really bad. Well, up until a few weeks ago, or a week ago or so, I tested out some pine tea a way that a uh, forum member told me. We, I belong to a few forums, and uh, someone posted a picture of some pine tea on there. And we all started discussing how, how bad it could taste and stuff. So they mentioned that you're supposed to steep it and not boil it. And so, you know, we gave that a test, and it was a lot better that way. Uh, we're going to give it a test again today to make sure that that's exactly how I like it. Uh, I used to boil this stuff. You used to just throw it in the water and boil it. That's a bad idea. You actually want to boil your water first, and then place that in there and just steep it with hot water. So you put this in a pot and just steep it with hot water by pouring the hot water over top of it. It's supposed to uh, keep that that uh, turpentine taste out of it, because if you boil it, it actually puts a turpentine-style taste in there. should be noted that I'm not going to actually pull, uh, well I just did that by accident, but I'm not going to pull the actual twigs off. I mean you can use them still, but uh, I'm just mostly aiming for the needles here. I shouldn't need more than just that many right there for what I'm making, but you want to try to keep these trees alive. Keep nature beautiful. You know, when you come up here you can know where this is again. These things are amazing. If you want a good koozie set for your pots, hit me up, let me know. I'm a buddy, Michael Paul Grey Wolf. He's one of the guys that goes hiking with me all the time. He is excellent at this stuff. So drop a comment or 
you know, leave a message or something, and I'll try to get it back to you. Comments are better. Messages, uh, I hardly ever check, but definitely check this out. These koozies, excellent for cold weather camping. Now we wait. So our goal now is just to allow this to boil. Uh, again, this is just natural water, so of course I want to boil it anyways. But after it boils, I'm gonna go ahead and let it calm down for a second, take it off the side, I'll put it in one of my koozies, and I'll add my needles to it and allow that to sit for about five to six minutes. And then I should have a very good, you know, white pine tea that is loaded with nutrients. So it's come to a boil now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gas off. Just gonna kinda allow that to sit there for just a minute. Oh, Thor, calm down. This is my hiking buddy right here. I usually keep him offset, but he's being a little rambunctious right now. There's a dog across the hallway over there that's going crazy. I think it's messing with the little buddy. Either way, uh, so we're gonna let this cool off for just a minute. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take my koozie and kinda set it down and place this inside the koozie. And uh, that, that's just going to allow it to maintain the heat, but allow it to cool down just a little bit. And it'll also cool this down too. Sorry, I have to put this up quicker. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, oh God. <laughs> this is my buddy right here. Calm down a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my leaves. Just kind of blow dust them off. Place them in there. Just seep them. I mean, that's all we're doing is just seeping these. So we're just allowing the, the hotness of the water to take the very uh, very ends of this stuff off, the stuff that maintains that, without getting the resinous uh, style turpentine stuff on the inside out. So we'll allow that to sit for about five minutes and then uh, we'll enjoy it. I don't know what's wrong with him today. It's just going crazy. <laughs> I need to walk him some more, get some of the energy out of him. He's a crazy hyper dog. He's a keto mixed with a border collie. And he's super smart, very smart, easy to train. But man, if he isn't wild when it comes to like being in the outdoors, he just loves walking around. And uh, I still haven't trained him to be just a hiking dog without a chain yet. That bothers me, but here's the tea. Thanks, Thor. Luckily, I have my tea in my hand without having that stuff thrown all over me. Taste <laughs> test number one. Oh man, it's hot. But you know what? It is. It's it's so much better if you don't boil the needles. So if you've ever made pine needle tea and you've boiled the needle the needles with the water, it's probably gonna taste like turpentine really bad. But if you uh just seep it in hot water, is all you do is just take hot water and seep it in there just like you would with tea, pretty much, uh, without boiling the tea, you know. It tastes so much better that way. Lots of vitamin C, lots of nutrients, decongestant, so if you've got some sinus issues going on, things like that, it's really good for you. It helps soothe your stomach too, so I know that for sure. So this week on uh, Herbology, I suppose, you know, get our uh, botany in here today. Pine needles. Excellent source here in the eastern woodlands for some great vitamin C and some craziness. But, if you like this video, go down below, I like it. Leave me a comment if you have any suggestions, questions, anything like that. And you better subscribe because I have tons of these outdoor survival style bushcraft videos out there. There's hiking videos, camping videos, and then there's a lot of survival stuff being put out lately too. So if you uh, are interested in learning plants or interested in learning bow drill fires, things like that, subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll definitely hook you up with some great videos here. Either way, it's been a great day up here in the eastern woodlands of southwestern Virginia, enjoying some great pine needle tea and some vitamin C with my dog Thor. Peace out.